Hi, this is Jim from AWS. The topic of this session is migration design. The design and migration phases form an iterative process for migrating the prioritized application workload from data center on-premise to AWS Cloud. The migration design involves a number of aspects from architecture design to proof of concept pilot run. In this session, we focus on two critical areas. First, migration patterns that determine migration approaches. And the second, AWS well-architected framework that guides migration design. There can be different migration methodologies, or called patterns. The migration patterns determine the cost of migration and the degree of cloud-native capabilities. Three major migration patterns are rehost, replatform, and refactoring. Let's look at each of them. Rehosting is also called lift and shift. It moves workloads as is to the cloud with minimal changes. Examples include servers running packaged software and applications without an active development roadmap. Customers using lift and shift to quickly migrate, then focus on optimization. Using this method, the migration can be fast, predictable, and economical. However, it does not take cloud advantages such as elasticity and scale. The second migration pattern is replatform. It's like changing the airplane engine for higher performance or newer functionality. Cloud migration replatform may involve upgrading the operating system, say from Windows 2003 to Windows 2012, or upgrading an application to the latest release. Because of these types of changes, replatform may trigger some application code changes. As such, more test is required at the migration validation stage. Refactor is another migration approach. It involves redesigning application architecture or rewriting an application even before migration to make it a cloud-native application. One example of refactoring is changing VM to container for microservices. Another example is transitioning enterprise databases to cloud-optimized AWS Aurora or AWS DynamoDB. These major changes towards cloud-native capabilities require more time, resources, and skills. Once migrated to the AWS Cloud, the payoff is substantially significant. Therefore, we recommend this migration approach for successful cloud transition in the long run. Here's a summary of the three migration approaches in terms of migration time, cost, agility, and skill set required. After all, it's a trade-off between migration complexity and cloud native capability at the end you need to make an informed decision among those factors. With the migration patterns determined, the next is to provide design for the target cloud environment. We shall use AWS well-architected framework to guide the design work. This framework is made of several pillars as illustrated here. The security pillar focuses on protecting information and systems Key topics include data confidentiality and integrity, access and operation privilege management, system protection, and security event detection. The reliability pillar focuses on ability to prevent and quickly recover from failures. Key topics include application failure prevention in the presence of component or partial failure, recovery planning and mechanisms, testing, and change management. Performance efficiency focuses on using resources efficiently. Key topics include selecting the right resources types, sizes, based on workload requirements, monitoring performance, and making informed decisions to maintain efficiency as business needs evolve. Cost optimization focuses on avoiding unneeded costs. 
Key topics include understanding where money is being spent, selecting the most appropriate resource types, analyzing spending over time, and scaling to meet the business needs without overspending. The operational excellence pillar focuses on running and monitoring systems to deliver business value and continuously improving processes and procedures. Key topics include managing and automating changes, responding to events, and defining standards to successfully manage daily operations. In summary, we highlighted two major aspects of migration design. One is determining migration patterns and in turn the migration approaches. The other is using the AWS well-architected framework to achieve security, reliability, performance efficiency, cost optimization, and operational excellence in the AWS cloud. As we just went through the well-architected framework, there are many topic areas for migration design. It's important for us to consider fundamental design principles to guide our design work. So we will look at some of the key design principles in another video session. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.